Welcome back everybody. Today we are going to go through a multi-part series on converting your style pack into a mod that you can download from CurseForge using the CurseForge app or anybody else that will go ahead and pull into there. You can see I've got small colonies on CurseForge. So that's uh, what I'm going to show you how to do. Let's go ahead and jump on into that with part one. All right, let's go ahead and get started with our first part here. So we have a style pack here, and this is what we're going to pack up into a mod. It's it's the current working version of Keep that I have. You have your pack file in here is all set up and ready to go. You can see it's Keep, Keep, made by me, Thalar. All of our mod requirements. Now these are in addition to the standard mod requirements. I'm missing Domum Ornamentum here. So we can add that in and save that. But otherwise, you can see we've got structurized mine colonies and then the other requirements that I've got. Now, if you create a style pack and you don't have the other mods specified that the pack requires, somebody's going to end up with Swiss cheese when they try to uh, play with it in game. On the other hand, if you have these mod requirements specified and somebody is missing one of these mods, they don't have it installed, Structurize will recognize that and it won't display this pack as available. So make sure if you're dealing with these mods that are required by the pack that you have them all there or you're going to be very frustrated because you can't figure out why it's not working. But as far as actually putting together a style pack that is outside the scope of this video, but you have everything in order, everything's ready to go, you've tested it in game, it works, it's all great, ready to go. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. And if you have not already found the files below to download, go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, download the style pack templates from my Dropbox page, and we'll continue in just a second. So you've downloaded the files. Now it's time to get to work on this. So we're just going to unzip these to the desktop. That's just fine. You can see there's one here for 1.20 and 1.21. And the only difference between these two files is whether or not you have in the uh, meta folder here, you have either mods or you have NeoForge mods. That's the only difference between 1.20 and 1.21. So we're not going to specifically talk about 1.21, but it's there. I divided them out into 1.20 and 1.21 just to make it a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and get started on how you create your mod. All right, let's go ahead and get started on fixing our template so that it is unique to you and your style pack. First things first, you're going to want to update your logo. You can see here, this one is your style. It's a template for you to use. It's 999 by 200 pixels. You'll want to make sure that it is a PNG file in the same size. Uh, our next step is going to update the pack file here. So let's go ahead and open that. You can see there's not much in here where it says your style. You're just going to replace that with whatever the name of your style pack is. I'm going to use test style and we'll save that, close that. We're done with that file. Now let's go ahead and head into our meta folder here and you'll see we have our mods file that I was talking about just a moment ago. So let's open that up. Now, there's lots of instances of your style that need to be changed. Now, I'm using Notepad++. Uh, you can use whatever text editor you like, but I'm just going to hit Control F so that I can find all of those instances of your style. And I'm going to replace them all with test style. And I'll just click replace all. And that's it. Now, all of that has been changed to test style. You don't have to have Notepad++ to do that. You can use whatever program you want. A few other things here you're going to want to take a look at. You have a version number that you can change. You have your logo file. Don't change that, otherwise you're going to break the picture. You'll want to update the author to yourself, and you'll want to update the description to uh, whatever description you like for your mod. I'm just going to say, this is a test style pack for a YouTube tutorial uh, tutorial I can spell so we'll save that and we're done here that's all we needed to do there oh before I forget though one very important thing is that this mod ID needs to be the same as if we go up one level and we go into our blueprints file here 
and where it says your style, you're going to want to rename this exactly the same as your mod ID. I'd recommend you just leave your mod ID as a single word, uh, all lowercase. You know, if you're building a, a medieval Roman style pack, you would just type in medieval Roman and medieval Roman, and you can see there's nothing else in the blueprints folder there. So that's good. That's good to go. We can go ahead and close that. We're done with that. So all that's left now is to get our actual files into uh, our file structure here. So let's go into blueprints, go into whatever you named your style pack file name, folder name. And we're just going to drag our style pack into there. That's all we have to do. It's now in there. All of our files are in there. And that is it for that step of prepping our files to be turned into a mod. All right, now we can actually create our jar file that is the uh, Java archive file that the game is going to read and recognize as a mod. But first things first, in Windows 11, you need to come up here to view. If you don't already have this option set, we're going to go down to show and we're going to show file name extensions. So now you can see we have pack mcmeta logo.png and uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to select all of these, right click, and we're going to put them in a zip file. Just compress to a zip file. I believe that's all standard options for Windows. And you can see we have blueprints.zip. So what we're going to do is rename this to test style, aka whatever your style name is. And the file extension we're going to change to .jar. We'll press enter this little thing will pop up yes i want to rename it that's just fine and that is it you have now created a uh mod file that minecraft will load that mine colonies and structurize will recognize so let's go ahead and play test that real quick now to do that first we need to get our jar file into the game so you're just going to go to wherever your instances are installed. I'm using the CurseForge app, so I'll just go to my CurseForge installation. I'll go to Instances. We're going to load this up in MCOL Mod Pack because that's where I know all of the mods are installed that are going to be compatible with this style pack, which is Keep. We'll open our Mods folder and we'll just drag this over here to that installation. We just installed our mod. So we'll be back in just a second in game all right you have followed all those steps so far you've now loaded minecraft so here we are in game and real quick i'm just going to go into the mods uh, menu here i'm going to organize this from a to z and we'll come down here and here is our test style so that is where your logo is going to show up this is where your mod name will be your version number your mod id which is test style this is where the credits you knew i didn't mention it but you can update those credits author is going to be you and this is where your description shows up this is a test style pack for youtube tutorial great so that's it let's go ahead and open this up in game and here we are in game let's go ahead and grab our build wand We'll enter the build menu, we'll switch pack, there's our local files, and then all the the uh, default mine colonies styles. There's small colonies, because that's installed earlier from the beginning of the video, and if we keep going, there's test style. So this shows up alphabetically. If your style pack, your mod happened to start with the letter B, you would be up at the top. But here is our version of keep. Not terribly happy with the icon there yet, but... Here we go. This is uh, exactly what we need to have going on to go ahead and load our mod in game. We can see we're in my my uh, test world here for keep. Got some things going on over there. Anyways, that's outside this mod. So that's it. We have now play tested our mod. It loads in game and we are done. That's all there is to it. We can now Go ahead and move on to part two. Join me in the next video and we'll talk about how to get this file uploaded to uh, CurseForge and what options we need to have and all of that good stuff. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.